Have you ever wondered about Mazda speed swapping at NA Mazda 3? Today we're going to talk about that. Can you, should you, what you'll expect to have to do. This video was sort of suggested by Matthew Tupu. Thank you so much for the idea. He wanted to see some videos on the NA Mazdas. So if you do, tell me in the comments below. Okay, I might also do a video on this on the Mazda Speed 6. Bang the bell icon so you get notified when it comes out. Also, I have to do a quick shout out to Colton Richter. He also did a video like this. So to hear his perspective, go watch it. I'll link it down in the description, actually. But let's just get into this. So first of all, there's the questions. Can you or should you? Let's start off with can you. There is some confusion on the forums and in the scene if the Mazda Speed engine does fit in because some people say that the turbo doesn't have enough clearance with the firewall. However, the swap has been done many times. I've heard of about three or four people who've done the swap. In fact, right, Mankey Mechanics did a whole YouTube series on how to do the swap and I'll link that in the description as well. However, there's more confusion than that. Some people think it's an easy swap like you could do with a Toyota or a Honda. It really isn't. You need to replace basically everything mechanically on the front half of the car and you need a lot of time, like 80 plus hours and a whole lot of money. So then should you do the swap? In short, probably not. I'll explain why and what you need to do and also as well as how to get the Mazda Speed Performance will far cheaper. But don't get me wrong, I am not trying to hate on the swap. If you do it, I have got mad respect for you, I just wouldn't advise it. If you are enjoying, surely like, maybe subscribe, Mazda Speed stuff, let's go. So first of all, obviously you're going to need a car. Now with 120,000 Ks on a manual Mazda 3 here in New Zealand, you're probably looking at about five grand, same as in the US. You of course obviously gotta need that Mazda Speed engine in New Zealand for a complete engine, not a long block, that is gonna set you back about 3,000 plus New Zealand dollars. So I'm guessing about 2,000 in the US. But you won't just need an engine, oh no, you gotta need a whole lot of more parts that we're gonna talk about later and it's a long list. But now how much do you have to spend to get a similar condition Mazda Speed? Well, in the US it's about $9,000, and in New Zealand it's about $12,000. So to make it financially viable, in America you have to do and buy all the rest of the parts with only $2,000, while in New Zealand you've only got $5,000 to buy the rest of the parts. So then I guess we get on to all the parts you need. It's a long one. So obviously first you need something to bolt up to it, so you'll need the gearbox with the clutch and the flywheel and also the shifter linkage because the different trans require different shifter linkages. To mate up with that and to handle the power you need some axles, add in a subframe and if I recall correctly that means a steering rack and since you are doing the front subframe you're going to need the whole entire front suspension. Not only to bolt up to the subframe but also for that extra weight on the front axles. So that's everything, that's control arms, knuckles, struts. But then you think about it, you kind of do need the rear suspension too, because if you've got the stiff suspension on the front and this sloppier one on the rear, it's going to drive quite bad. You'll also need brand new Mazda Speed 3 engine mounts, because if you get some used ones, it's a Mazda Speed 3, they're probably shot. Continuing on, you need some AC and heater core lines, you need to do the new brake lines because the normal ones are too close to the turbo, which is hot. You need the ABS, you need a brake booster. You need an in-tank fuel pump because the NA Mazda 3 is on port injection, which is only about 60 psi, while the turbo MZR is direct injected and it runs on thousands of pounds of petrol. Obviously, entirely different engine, you need an ECU, which means you need a different OBD2 port and a different fuse box since they're entirely different layouts. A key, because that's coded to the ECU, as well as a wiring loom. Now there is some confusion if you need to replace the entire wiring loom or just from the front seats forward. But replacing that at the bare minimum means that you'll have to pull out the entire dash, the seats, the carpet and pull down the headliner. And now, are you swapping it into a Mazda 3 stand? If you are, you're going to need a Mazda Speed hood. Because if you look at the sedan hood, 
it lowers in the center, whereas a hatchback raises, and the MPS raises even further. Even if you go for a front mount on the sedan, I'm pretty sure you'll still need at least a hatch hood for clearance. If you do swap out that hood, that means you're going to need some lights, and a grill, and if I recall correctly, that means you also need a bumper and some fenders as well. However, in your hatch, you don't need a hood, but you really should. You see at the front, the MPS actually has a scoop from that top front grill that feeds here over the top of the engine and onto that top mount intercooler. But the lower NA hood would mean that it'd be much harder for air to get there, there'll be less air going on that intercooler, and there's gotta be more heat soak. And it'll probably run a lot worse. Or you could go for a front mount, that is at least another 450 US dollars. Parts aren't all of it, is it? If you're paying someone to do it, give up. Someone who did the swap said it took them 100 hours, and honestly I think it would be more than that. In New Zealand, if you're paying someone to do this work, they'd probably charge you about $80 an hour. That's 8,000 New Zealand dollars, just for labour, and then on top of your $5,000 car and your $3,000 engine, plus all the parts we just said, but we're not going to count that right now, that's 16 grand. You could buy a completely mint Mazda Speed 3 for that. Way, way, way nicer than the Mazda 3 you're about to build. And that price doesn't even include the gearbox, the ECU, the wiring loom, or any of that. Well, in the US, I assume that'd be about $5,000 worth of labour. So add that on to the $5,000 car plus your $2,000 engine, that's $12,000 plus the other parts, we haven't included them, and with that you could buy, a, like I said, a mint Mazda Speed 3. It makes no sense if you've got to pay someone else to do it. Then you might think, you know what, I'll do it myself. Then cool, free labour, assuming you're doing it in your own time. But also, with all the other parts you have to buy that we listed before, it's got to cost more than a Speed 3. But remember, soon we'll tell you how you have Mazda Speed Performance for cheap as hell. Or cheaper. You've heard all those parts. And with all those parts, you're probably just best off finding a ridden off Mazda Speed 3 donor car because you need a whole heck of parts. And also there's got to be some parts that you need and you don't know. So you'll be there working on your car, working, 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 and you find, oh, I need this part, okay, I'll just call up the local parts store, and they'll say, yeah, yeah, we can get it to you, we just have to order it in, and that will be a week. Great, you can't work on it for a week. You go by a week, you go to the parts store, you pick up your part, you go home, you start working again, I need another part. You can't work on it for another week. It'll take you ages, basically. So now, let's just explain why you shouldn't do it, okay? So the cost will be more than buying a Mazda Speed, and takes way more time. And with all that extra money, and all that extra time, you've got to have a car that constantly has issues, and if it's a sedan it's less practical, even small stuff like it doesn't have the Bose stereo with the subs from the Mazda Speed, or won't have that nicer interior with the leather Alcantara seats, and it's got to be uglier. That's why it really makes no sense. But I hear you. You want that Mazda Speed Performance, but you want it for cheap. That's where your boy comes in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a Mazda Speed 3 with a blown engine. In New Zealand, as I write this, there's a blown Speed 6 for three and a half grand on Marketplace. All it has is a blown engine. So we'll have to buy a new engine, but unlike the MZ3 to MZR swap, we won't need a complete block, we'll only need a long block. Which over here is probably about two and a half thousand dollars, so for six thousand dollars, you have a full blown running Mazda Speed. That's well below half the price of having the inferior MZR swapped Mazda 3, and so much less effort. For you in America, that equates to about four thousand US, but prices may vary. That was it. If you did enjoy, shortly a like, and yeah. Bye.